presentation by Truckee Carson Irrigation District representative and possible discussion regarding current and recent work being conducted on the canal. This again is simply a presentation. Mr. Stix. Mr. Mayor and Council, uh, thank you for having me tonight. And uh, I want to thank uh, Ms. Shumway for the polite phone call today, reminding me to uh, make sure I'm here. And uh, so I really appreciate that, uh, Lena. Thank you, um, thank you Lena. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Council and Mayor, um, you know, I did just listen to your past discussion, Mr. Mayor, it's getting harder and harder to try to have good news uh, all the time. And uh, unfortunately, I'm here tonight with some <clears throat> bad news. I only have one thing to report on. I can't report on flows in the canal, obviously. <clears throat> Excuse me. But uh, um, the bad news is we have some serious problems on the canal, and it's not going to be opened in the short term. Uh, if you remember last time I talked to you, we discussed about the current work that's being done on the canal, and most of that work has been completed. And one of the things that came up at the shutdown when we started the work in November was that we allocated the funds from the District General through the Safety Commission to do camera work and radar at each of the takeouts. That includes the laterals and the takeouts. Um, anything that had a pipe going through the canal bank to deliver water, livestock water lines, all of those were cameraed and had radar uh, taken of them. Um, when I talked to you, the camera work was still moving on, and since then we've gotten the reports back, and they're very ugly. Now, it depends on how you look at it, and it's serious enough that we have to take a look at it, and um, repairs have to be made but they probably look like three quarters or most of the takeouts structures in the entire project, including in Fallon, because we're dealing with a lot of concrete culvert. Uh, we have cracks in them. We have tree roots growing through those cracks. We have some old, uh, uh, before concrete, they would have used, Don or Cal help me out, some of the sewer lines are made of them, the old ones. Yeah, the old, old stuff. Some of them are, uh, corrugated uh, steel, galvanized, and the process we're going through right now is something very unique is going on. The big test is on is how the Bureau and TCID are going to get together in the long term as well as right now, because what we're doing is we've submitted the plans and we've hired the help of Hydrotech because they're the ones that specialize in taking care of those old structures and not having to tear the ground up because that was the first concern that came to us is are we going to have to tear the earth out in the banks and put new structures which that's the first thing we did that was the easiest thing is we made a one size fits all takeout same size same diameter presented that right away that was the easy thing but the next thing we had to do is how do we do this without tearing up the earth and tearing up the canal bank. And that's when we went out and got the help of Hydrotech, and that's what they do for a living. Now, one of the issues we're dealing with is, if you, and if you know what Hydrotech does, they put a sleeve inside, blow it up with air, and then pump steam in it, and you have a permanent structure. Uh, Kevin Brazell reported, it was news to me, all new, it was very interesting, is even if the old clay or the old concrete deteriorates, you still have a sound structure there. So that was good news. But the biggest thing is, what do we do on the outside of the pipe? Because we have some piping going on with those structures. There's water getting on the outside of the pipe. And that was an easy fix to Mr. Brazell, and that is they pump in a lightweight foaming concrete type material to fill up that cavity, and that's what the radar tells us is what we have. When our project manager, Rusty Jardine, went to the bureau office in Carson, we had all the bigwigs from Denver there, and just to talk about specific, specifically these takeouts, and we received a very cold shoulder on the, that initial proposal of doing that. And this is an industry standard that's done with other reclamation projects, from what we understand. So Rusty came back and said, it doesn't matter. He told Mr. Brazell to continue. We now have a proposal from Hydrotech, and tomorrow Harvey Edwards from the Bureau will be at our office in Fallon to officially receive our proposal to do this fix. Mr. Brazell also told us if we can get started in the next couple of weeks or so, we can have the water up and running by mid-April, which is about the time we start putting water in the Fernley area. That is very good news. 
but we have to also consider that there may be a worst case scenario. The only thing we can think of to go back on is to tear them out and put in these new structures. If we do that, the first thing we think of is there's many places along the Truckee Canal that we can combine takeouts. We might have takeouts that so we have too many. Let's combine them into one. Well, that's huge because now we have to do ditch work to get those takeouts connected. So we're looking at that. It's huge, everybody. It's really huge, and it's, it's, it's pro probably one of the worst scenarios I can think of, and I haven't been on the board that long, a couple of years, that we can be in because we're delaying putting water back in the canal. The wells, and then pretty soon the hot winds are going to be here, and we have the issues with people's fields and what have you that utilize the water. We're very concerned right now, and we're hoping that the worst case scenario doesn't happen. If it does, we're already thinking about ideas of getting every contractor we can think of that has the appropriate equipment, beg, borrow, and steal. We have the funds through the district general, and try to get maybe one contractor to take care of two or three outlets at a time and have them attack those and get them done, as long as the quality control can be taken care of and just attack that canal and get it done sometime, hopefully, before irrigation or when irrigation starts. Um, that's basically all I have. If, if it's okay, we'll go ahead and plan on one month from today for another report. But if something really exciting happens under reports, I'll come at the next council meeting. How's that? And just give you an update. Thank you, David. One month from today, there's no meeting. This is a uh, different date, so March 16th would be the next March 16th? March 16th, right. Okay, so the first uh, Wednesday in March and then the So the first 16th. Wednesday in March is a budget workshop next week. It's strictly budget. Oh. We're doing okay. strictly budget okay. workshop. So. so we'll just plan on the 16th no matter what. How's that? That would be fine. And hopefully I'll have good news. Are there any questions? Anybody? Mr. Parsons, had a question? Uh, it's not a question. I just want to no, make a clarification that I am an employee of HydroTech. Um, okay. I guess that's good enough? Yeah. That's just... Verification, that's fine. Okay. Thank Th you, Mr. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Thank you very Mayor. much for the update. And let's go for the best case scenario. 